What up, my peoples? Why every time look far? Okay, I guess that's good enough. What it do, baby boo? So, oh, first things first, let me take you out of my shirt. You guys should have seen it already, but it just says pretty and paid with SK logo on it. Um, it is from uh, Swan OK. Uh, what I'm trying to say is tomorrowok.com. I'm going to leave it in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out. They have these women's shirts and they have um, a men's shirt. Yeah, so you guys go check it out and purchase them if you would like. But anywho, moving on, I am here to talk about uh, two malls that we went to in Miami. Let me get the names because I forgot the names. Um... Let's see. Um, where the heck is it? Oh, okay. So, um, Dolphin Mall and Aventura Mall. So, Dolphin Mall. Okay, well, first I'm going to do Aventura Mall because that's the first mall we went to. So, I'm just giving you guys pros and cons about both um, malls. So, if you're ever in Miami and you want to go to like a good mall you'll know which mall is better suited for your you know what i mean like better suited for what you're looking for yeah that makes sense so aventura mall is a high-end mall um basically mo like that mall for one like that mall is actually cool though because um it had three levels. Like, I've never been, like, been to or seen a mall that has three levels. Like, two okay, but three, no. Like, the mall had three levels. Like, that was so lit. But, um, mostly, like, they have, um, it's like a high, like I said, a high-end mall. So, they have stuff there, like, Christian Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. I was saying these right. Like, Louis Vuitton, Christian Louis Vuitton, <laughs> Coach, um... What else they had there? Uh, what's that word? I said, uh, Burberry. Dang, I don't even know a whole bunch of designer. Gucci. I don't think I said that. Uh, Versace. Fendi. Okay, but yeah, y'all get the point. Like, they had all them type stores there. Like, so it's lit. Like, if you want to, uh, see, like, all those type of stores, like, it's lit. Because you go in, like, all those different type stores and see, like, the stuff they have. But, um, but for us, even though, like I said, my shirt say pretty and paid, like, I ain't rich. I ain't balling. Like, <laughs> so that, that mall was out of my league. I did buy, um, something there out of Christian Louboutin, but it was, what, $50? $50. And it was, um, some nail polish. Yes, it was $50 nail polish. Yes, that's expensive, obviously. But... It was fifty dollars compared to you know what I mean, like hundreds of dollars. Like if I bought like an actual item or thousands, if I actually bought something in the Red Bottom store. But no, I just bought nail polish. So fifty dollars. I wanted. I had been wanting it, so I got it because I was there in the store to get it. So yeah. Um. But other than that, like we didn't get anything out of that mall because, like I said, it was a high end store. We didn't go there to buy any type thing like that we didn't even have the budget the money or nothing for that so um we basically just looked around like we went into stores and looked around and everything um on the second level i did realize they did have more stuff because i thought it was just high end and so we seen like they had like another level and we went up there they had they did have forever 21 like a really big forever 21 which was cool but they didn't have nothing good in there um they had Journeys, which is a shoe store. They had, like, Foot Locker, stuff like that. So, they had, like, some, like, regular stores in there, which was cool. But I feel like it's mostly overall a high-end mall because everything downstairs was high-end. And then upstairs, they had, like, some, like, a mix and match of some high-end stores and some regular stores. So, it was, like, eh. Like, like I said, we still didn't get anything there. The only thing I got there was my nail polish and um the rest of the time we just looked around um but it was a cool mall overall but the main mall we went there two day like for yeah it's for i didn't even talk we went there twice um in two days or whatever 
Um, because mom was so big, we didn't even finish it the first time when we were ready to go. So, um, that was Dolphin Mall. That's like their main mall there, I believe. So, I, I'm sure I'm right, but I believe so. Um, but like I said, it's called Dolphin Mall. That mall is so lit. Like, it don't have, it only has one level. Yeah, it only has one level. Yeah, it only has one level, but it is humongous. Like, I don't know how big that mall is, but it's huge. Like, they literally have every, I feel like they have every store you can think of in that mall. Like, it is so cool. Like, I wish they had a mall, a mall like that here. Like, they have a mall similar, but not as lit as that mall. That mall is lit. But, um, they literally have everything there. Um... I got we got a whole bunch of stuff there. Like I said, we went there two days and we that's where we bought all our stuff at. We went we bought out at that mall. Like that mall was so lit. Um, this isn't gonna be a long video because it's not lit, like really like a pros and cons thing. Like it's just giving you guys different options on malls to go to and like what they have there so you know what to look for, like or what you're looking for, so you don't waste your time. Like us, kind of, because I feel like we wasted our time going to Aventura Mall all in because we didn't buy anything. Even though, like I said, we still looked around or whatever, but we wasted our time, I feel, because we didn't get anything. Like, we went there thinking, like, it was, like, an actual mall mall, and we're going to, you know what I mean, like, go shopping. Like, we did at Dolphin Mall, but even though I got my nail polish, which I'm really excited about, but other than that, like, we didn't do anything, so... I only feel for that reason we wasted our time, but Dolphin Mall, like, that mall was so much fun. They even have a Dave & Buster's outside, right, attached to the mall, which is cool. A Dave & Buster's and a bowling alley. So, I'm like, that was cool. But, um, yeah, I definitely, out of the two, I recommend Dolphin Mall only because it has so much stuff there. You have, like, so many options, like, for whatever you're looking for. But if you are looking for more high-end stuff, then like I said, Aventura Mall is the mall for you because they literally have, like, every designer there. <laughs> like, I feel like every designer was there. So, I feel like that's a really good thing if you're looking for that. And if you're looking for just a good mall to go to with a whole bunch of stores and all, a whole bunch of options and stuff, then Dolphin Mall is the mall for you. Um, but yeah, so... That's literally about it. Like I said, um, just giving you guys two options on what to look for. If you guys have been to um, Miami, list some malls that you have been to. Or if you've been to the malls that I mentioned, like list some stores that you like going to in those malls. Um, so you can help people out also. Uh, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.